In this short video, I am going to show you how you can use an ArcGIS toolbox that automates download and processing of NOAA Atlas 14 precipitation frequency data grids. If you're watching this video, you are familiar with precipitation frequency data server. Um, and this is the website for that. When you come to this website, when you click on the states that you are interested in, it automatically takes you to um, a map and you can actually change the point wherever you change this uh, plus sign to wherever you want to. And over here, there are different durations and different frequencies, and you will be able to find the precipitation for that specific point. Now, this is the point estimate. Now, what if we want to download the grids to be able to import that into the GIS software? So if you take a look at this bar over here, there is GIS grids. So when you click on that, you'll see that there are four different volumes or different regions. You can download the grids for based on different series, partial duration, or annual maximum. Um, you can uh, select the recurrence in interval or the frequency and the duration. So let's say that we want to download the 100-year, 24-hour rainfall over here. For which region we want to download it for? Uh, southwest, uh, southeast actually. Let's do southeast of United States. And when you click to download it, it asks you to specify a path. We can do that. And then it will download that data for you. Let me actually bring this over here. There we go. So this is downloaded over here. When you unzip um, the data that you have downloaded, you can clearly see that it's right over here. You can see that there is a .asc, the ASCII file over here, um, that you can import into a GIS software. I am going to switch to ArcGIS Pro and show you how this looks like. As you can see, I have my study area or project area indicated here in red. I am going to add the data that I have downloaded. This is the ASCII file. I am going to click OK, and it's going to ask me if I want to build the pyramids. OK, let's do that. And after a couple of seconds, if I zoom out, you can see that this is the 100-year, 24-hour uh, rainfall for the entire southeast region of the United States. OK. Now, this is only one raster data for southeast 100 year and 24 hour. As you saw in that website, you can download for 100 year for different durations starting from five minutes all the way to more than a day. Okay. We want to automate this process. So automatically, um, the program that we have written or the toolbox in ArcGIS Pro that is based on a Python program goes to that website, downloads all of these um, um, all of these rasters, and clips it based on the clip feature or this clip feature that we have over here. So this is going to be the process that, uh, this, is, this was the process that I wrote in Python. And based on that, I developed this toolbox. And you can download the toolbox in the website that I have put in the description section of this video. So this is the toolbox called Noah Atlas 14 Toolkit. And then under that, there is a Python toolbox called Atlas 14 Grid Processor. So if you right click on it and click open, this is the toolbox. So you need an output directory, project name, clip feature, and a base URL. What is the base URL? Let me quickly show you what the base URL is. So when you're in this page, well, you can click manually and download all of these, or you can find the FTP uh, website for that. So if you click on via browser over here, you'll be directed to the parent directory of all those files. For example, Southeast was essentially the file that we downloaded. So if you click on Southeast, you can see that in addition to the PDF that give you information about that, there are uh, zip files uh, that are essentially the zip files that we downloaded. This one is, for example, Southeast one year and the three hour one. Okay, so we wanna download this. So what we need is a URL for this specific page, which is our Southeast page. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this URL 
and take it to ArcGIS Pro. All right, I copied the URL. I'm going to go to GeoProcessing, and I'm, pa I'm pasting the URL over here. You can see that this SE indicates that I'm looking for region in S uh, Southeast. SW would be Southwest. Okay, clip feature is this feature that I have right over here. I am going to specify the clip feature over here which is saved over here. It should be a shapefile and pay attention that it should not be saved in a geodatabase. It should be saved in a folder. I'm going to put this over here. Project name, I'm going to call it project and the output directory. Let me uh, find the output directory. I'm going to put it actually, go one back over here. I'm going to put it over here into my test folder. So geoprocessing, there we go. Okay, and when you click run, it tells you that one, oh, project name for some reason got removed. Project, there we go. Okay, so, and then click run, and it automatically, you can click on view details. You can see that it attempts to download the zip file for different frequencies and different um, durations. And when the download is successful, it tells you that message. Now, if you go to, uh, this file, you can see that there are different folders created zip files, clip files, and downloaded data. If you go to the zip file, you can see that one by one, these zip files are downloaded from the link that we provided for the ArcGIS toolbox. So, what the, the program is going to um, perform like this number one, it is going to download all the zip files into this folder. So, this starts from one year from uh, five minutes all the way to 24 hour. And then um, when one year is done, it moves to year two from five minutes all the way to 24 hour, then goes all the way to 1000 year frequency. Once this is downloaded, it is going to unzip all of those files into the downloaded files. Right now it's empty because it's still downloading all those zip files. Once all of those zip files are unzipped in this folder, the program is going to use the shapefile that you provided for that and clip all of these shapefile to the extent of all of these, excuse me, all of these rasters to the extent of the shapefile that you provided and save them into clipped files. Okay. I am going to pause the video to save some time. And then once the download is done and once the clip is done, I will resume the video and show you the results. All right, great. Now, as you can see, the Southeast 1000 year 24 hour zip file was downloaded and also running the program is done. So now let's go to the files over here and take a look. So we already looked at the zip files. All of them are downloaded over here. Now let's take a look at the downloaded files. These are the unzipped files. So the program automatically unzips all those files and saves them over here. And then you have the clipped files which are clipped and saved in TIFF format based on the um, clipping feature for my project. If I wanna show you how that looks like, I can um, essentially, let me find the folder that I have saved. This is the folder I'm gonna copy and paste it right over here. So these are all those TIFF files I want to add let's say 500 year and six hour i'll add it right over here and you can see that this is based on the clipping geometry that i had over here the grid sizes are larger depending on what region you are selecting in NOAA atlas 14 grid data the grid sizes might change as well okay so this was a short tutorial on how you can work with atlas 14 grid processor toolbox within ArcGIS Pro. Again, if you want to download this toolbox, you can use the link in the description section of this video.